tell me a little bit more about the diving and why you need to learn diving. Well, on many space flights, um, extravehicular activity is required, which we know as spacewalking. Um, and it's one of the, the dream tasks for any astronaut, really. Uh, and in order to prepare yourself for a spacewalk, um, we have to train on Earth. Um, we can't replicate weightlessness on Earth, only for short periods of time uh, in an aircraft. Um, but the, the swimming pool with neutral buoyancy is a very good simulator. Um, and they have simulators in uh, Houston and in Russia and also at the European Space Agency in Cologne. We have big swimming pools where we can sync modules which represent the space station. And then we can wear the same sort of spacesuits uh, using the same sort of equipment we can dive and practice doing long space walks, fixing the space station and doing other representative tasks that we might be called upon to do for real. And what stage are you at with that? Have you put on the space suit yet? Uh, we haven't just yet, no. Um, we'll do that when we go to Houston later on in the year. Um, but at the moment, we've just been doing scuba reviews and refreshers. Um, all six of the new astronauts are divers. Um, and we've been practicing diving with full face masks, getting us ready to move on to the spacesuit. And we've just started to familiarize ourselves with the kind of tools and equipment that we'll be expected to use on the space station. Now, the other way to experience weightlessness is in an aircraft. How does that work? That's right, yes. Uh, it's a, a specially uh, modified uh, Airbus, actually, that we'll be using. Um, and basically, by pulling up um, positive G uh, in a parabola, the aircraft can pull to about sort of 45 degrees nose up and then push over the top as if you're going over a humpback bridge. And during that period where you go over the top of the bridge, if you like, you can experience about 20 seconds of weightlessness before the pilot then has to pull out of the dive and then prepare for the next parabola. Um, we'll go flying for about two and a half hours and in that two and a half hour flight do about 33 parabolas.